I can start off there. The whipped cream's not done yet. But see, the thing is, you're coming in with this, right? Or should I? Another cupcake? This drink has the entire tub of ice cream, and now it has two cupcakes in it? What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're going to watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. Some vodka, okay? Ooh, ooh. Of course he's a Tipsy Bartender, so of course he's going to make a mess. Why is he holding it so high and the pour spout's upside down? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just make a drink without making a mess? How hard is it to pour vodka into a blender? Hypnotic, okay? Lord. How about that? How about that? I can throw it, kind of. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> How much hypnotic are you gonna put in there? Blue Curacao! Whoa. That's how you get a blue, what do you mean? How much blue? Dude! He put so much blue crystal, he put so much hypnotic. This thing is gonna be so sweet. We got some candy in here. We got some. Of course, it's Tipsy Bartender, so of course there's gonna be candy. And they're like so. These trolls. Why are these called trolls? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Trolley. He doesn't even know the name of the candies that he's putting in. He just goes to a candy store and just buys random stuff to put into his drinks. He doesn't even know what they are. You know what? I, I don't get to use this color belt. Let me let me try this belt. Get that in there too. You see what I'm saying? Why does it matter? It's food coloring. The colors don't mean anything. They're artificial. This is a pretty color belt. Come in like so. And there you have it! Of course, there's only one straw because <laughs> this is meant for one person. Red velvet color! Milkshake, homeboy. <laughs> okay, home oh, look at this, homeboy. This fresh. Okay, this fresh. It's not fresh. It looks like it's been left outside for a while. It's already starting to melt. Get them complaints from the sidelines. Too heavy with the ice cream. You know what I'd say to those complaints? <laughs> Sorry, this is the last one I can put in. <laughs> Dude, that barely even fits in that blender. Like, how much ice cream are you really gonna put in there? Let's begin with this red velvet Irish cream, okay, Bailey? Of course, more cream, more calories, check. These Irish cream. Damn, look at the color on that. Mm. It's food coloring. Why is he so impressed by food coloring? Mm, smells good, homeboy. That's red velvety in color. This can be an interesting color on this drink, okay? I'm just saying, homeboy, okay? Once again, it's food coloring. Just put food coloring if you just want the red color. Okay. Then we come behind up with some creme de ca cacao. Okay, this, now we can grab this little red velvet thing here. This one? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You're putting a cupcake in the drink? You already put the red velvet liqueur in there. Why do you need to put an actual red velvet cupcake? You're just adding the same flavors over and over again. This is redundant. Oh yeah, right there, son, right there. Why did he make so much just for one glass? Look how much extra that he has. Beautiful. Now we grab our whipped cream, guys. This one's tricky. Of course, more cream, more calories, check. You need a nice thick base for this whipped cream. What's so tricky about that? That's how you normally use whipped cream. Now I can start off there. The whipped cream's not done yet, but see the thing is, you're coming in with this, right? Or should I? Another cupcake? This drink has the entire tub of ice cream, and now it has two cupcakes in it? Leave the cover on. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I could take it off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could take it off. Of course, unsurprisingly, more cream, more calories. Bang. Now come in with our little sprinkles. More sugar, check. Oh man, this look like... Of course, it's Tipsy Bartender, so of course he's gonna make a mess. Love, okay, this is what I... Oh my god, going a little overboard. But again, it is a tipsy bartender, so in his standards, probably not enough sprinkles. Imagine love to be, okay? I don't know true love, but I assume this is it. And there you have it. The of course, it's one straw, because this is meant for one person. The red velvet cupcake milkshake, okay? Now, what is red velvet? First, let's, let's, let's start there. What the hell is red velvet? It's food coloring. That's what it is. What do you think it is? A cake. Yeah, I know it's a cake, but I mean, why is it called red velvet? 
Okay, but there's a lot of other red cakes. They ain't damn velvet, okay? Anyway, look here, homeboy, I don't know what red velvet exactly is, okay? Um, it's food coloring! You could just go to Wikipedia to figure this out. Why do you have to ask these questions while you're filming? You could have done this research before you filmed this. Does Bailey's know? All right, chocolate cake, red food coloring. Let's call it red velvet, okay? Rather than chocolate cake that's been dyed. Okay, red velvet. That is what it is. It's not a mystery. You can look this up and you can easily find the answer to it. You got your little pineapple sherbet right here. Sherbet is healthier than regular ice cream because it's lower fat and it's from fruits. But wait a minute, is strawberry ice cream from fruits? Okay, now I want this to be a pretty color, guys, so I'm hoping this works out. Why isn't he pushing that down? The blades aren't even touching it. We hit it with a little bit of pineapple rum. Of course, it's pineapple sherbet, so of course he's gonna add pineapple rum because it's not tipsy bartender if there's no redundancy. How many of y'all took my bartending course? Because I want y'all to notice up with Caribbean rum with pineapple liqueur. So what Malibu is doing is they take a rum and then they add in the flavoring. That's what they do to the Malibu coconut rum as well. You don't need to take a bartending course to know that. It literally tells you that they did that. Not it, because this is the star of the show, okay? Come behind with a little blue curacao. The hypnotic dude had to hear me shouting him out in videos before, because I talk about him a lot. Oh, look at the color. Look. <sighs> That's what I said. Why didn't he push everything down? The blades weren't even touching it. All it did was swirl around the liquor. Another of the sherbet was getting caught in the blades. Oh my God, I love the color. I love it's food coloring! Food coloring for the blue curacao and the hypnotic. Why not just use food coloring? That's how they color those liqueurs. I guess I leave a little space right there for my whipped cream homeboy because this, this is a... Of course, more calories, check. And he just made a note that the sherbet is healthier because there's less fat and you're just adding more fat to it. So it kind of defeats the purpose of choosing the healthier option if you're just gonna add more fat to this. But anyway, this, this is... Delightful, it's delicious, it's good to go. It's full of sugar and calories. Now we grab our hypnotic, okay? So we coming in with some hypnotic. I can try a bounce and one. Uh, of course, it's a tipsy bartender, so of course he's gonna make a mess. Why not use a funnel? We know that he has one. And why were you putting the bottles facing this way instead of back to back? It would have made the jump a lot closer. Fine. And there you have it! Incredible Hulk! How are you supposed to drink that? What's the point of layering the drink? If you drink it, you're just gonna drink the Hennessy on top if you don't shake it. Layering this drink is completely pointless. This is a whole 200 milliliters. Usually layered drinks is one serving. Is somebody expected to drink this by itself? In a bottle! Homeboy, check it out. Check it out. You like that? And now you just go like this, right? So what's the point of layering it if you're gonna mix it anyways? What the f Next to the bar. Like for real? Yeah, yeah, like dude, which would you- Why do you even wear gloves if you're gonna touch your face? It defeats the whole purpose of wearing gloves. If you're gonna be this unsanitary, why do you even have gloves at all? Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave it in the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.